Hi everyone. I know this is Lizzie's video blog, but I'm just trying to encourage her to talk about last night's events. I don't know. It was just not really worth talking about. Lizzie, aren't these your diaries? A diary is a great sounding board to vent your frustrations. You cannot let the things that are bothering you crush your spirits. Not super crushed feeling. And right now. think about your viewers. Don't you want them to hear how you're feeling? Well, don't you want yeah. them to share in the experience? I mean, this is the internet after all. I'm just tired of all of this stuff. And think about your dear friend, Charlotte. Wouldn't she want you to continue to express yourself like you've been doing so well all this time? I do miss Charlotte. I'm sure she misses you too. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's do it. Splendid. My name is Izzy Bennett, and I don't know what I would do without Caroline. Aww. <laughs> so, where should I start this story? Start from the very beginning of the night. Uh, okay, so I, I came down to the living room? Family room? We refer to it as the lounge. Darcy works in the lounge? As established, he works anywhere and everywhere. Figures. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I came in, and you two were chatting. What were you guys talking about, anyway? Well, he wasn't only really talking. He was more neck deep in duties. Yeah. It was really strange and honestly, kind of rude. Don't worry about that. Please continue. <clears throat> uh, so it was really dull until you had me walk with you. To disrupt him. Two lovely ladies taking a turn about the room, enticing any man, would it not? Yeah. Uh, but he wouldn't join us even when you politely asked him to. Something about seeing through our deceptive motives. Deception? Whatever does that mean, what did he say? You're either walking together to banter about secrets or because you're aware that your aimless strolling around the room shows off your figures. If the first, I would be in your way. If the second, the view from here will do. Oh, shocking. Was it not? Well, it was kind of weird just walking around the room. But yeah, talk about pompous. And don't you feel that arrogance deserves punishment? Uh, well, his arrogance is comical. We should have just laughed at him. No, Darcy would label such a thing as a weakness, part of his vanity and pride. Vanity and pride, the Darcy family crest. It's probably in bronze over his bed. Vanity is indeed a weakness, but pride, Lizzie Bennet, is an earned trait. His words. Oh yeah, it's all coming screaming back to me. So now how do you feel about our dear Mr. Darcy? <laughs> well, I dropped the dear prefix for starters, but he thinks he's perfect and has no faults. Which you called him on. Oh, yes I did. But you did point out his short temper. Of course he's a short temper. It goes along with his stuck-upness and unforgiving personality, which is no surprise. His good opinion, once lost, is lost forever. Having no capacity for forgiveness means hating everyone. What an awful way to live life! We are in total agreement, Lizzie. And you, do you have flaws? According to Darcy. He says that I intentionally misunderstand people. <laughs> do you intentionally misunderstand people? Completely, totally ridiculous. I hate him. I hate his stupid, judgy little... Blah. <laughs> See? Don't you feel better? Yeah. Who would have thought that getting angry at Darcy would make me feel better? Happy to help, Elizabeth. Well, how about her, huh? Caroline Lee, go figure. I can safely say that I've never hated anyone as much as I hate Darcy. It really does baffle me that Caroline and Bing seem to get along with him so well. Maybe it's just Caroline being nice and being the better person. Like she doesn't actually like Darcy, but she's just projecting that for politeness. I do notice she isn't confrontational with him, even when he's being a stuck up ass. Anyway, I know Caroline is watching these and because I forgot to say it earlier, let me just say thank you, Caroline, for everything. You're a better woman than I am. Mm -hmm.